I'm JD the Media Jack and I'm here to help you out with a walkthrough on normal and on hard difficulty of Dirty Ice, one of the missions on Payday 3. First thing you're going to need is a weapon that has a silencer on it. Any weapon that has a silencer on it. In my case, I'm using a shotgun. I want to upgrade it so I made sure that it is my silenced weapon. In the matter of perks, there aren't a whole heck of a lot that you need to have. It's handy to have quick fingers, that way you can lockpick things quickly when you have rush enabled. As well, social engineering just calms people down or keeps them from freaking out if you're not wearing a mask. And the last one, glitch protocol. You could use it as a last ditch effort to get rid of a guard that you just want to leave you alone. It is a one and done situation. Hopefully you never actually have to use it. Now my goal for the normal and hard difficulty is just to deal with the item in question as well as everything in the VIP back room area. I'm not going to touch the front area. So you want to run to this alley and put on your mask as soon as you get to the truck because this is where you're going to want to pull out your weapon. Don't worry about shooting out too many cameras, it's not going to matter. Now, I know that there's someone around here that we have to take hostage. We are also going to need a QR code, and a QR code is found on one of the phones in this room. It can be found in three locations, on the counter, on the coffee table, and on the desk. We just want to keep this person quiet, tie her up in the office just so that she doesn't alert anyone and also so that she stays out of the way. Now there's going to be a security guard that we're going to need to take out and he's not going to be in the area yet. So now's a good time to hack this computer to I'm find in. out what the code is for the door that we need to get through in a short period of time. The code is in one of three places, on the whiteboard, on the picture of the employee of the month, and inside the VIP area. Here's the guard we have to take out, just a headshot, and we're going to move the body. We're going to need to answer the call. What's going on over there? Do you know what's amazing to me? It doesn't matter what I say to you. I bet you're just playing with your phone, aren't you? I could go weird as shit. While my character is screwing with the dispatch, we now know that according to the email, that code on the wall is the code that we need to get to the door downstairs. Now is a good time to also open up and take out this camera. This is the second location for the pass number. And the third location, as I said, is on the photo of the employee of the month. Now we're going to run down here and enter this door by using the code. There are two cameras and a guard to worry about in this area. Again, take out the camera as you need. Took out the guard. That way he doesn't bother us. It's always important to answer these radio calls because this way the security doesn't freak out and start a search and just make your life a lot more complicated. We want to throw this switch to turn off the security to the boxes. We want to grab that red key card because that's going to give us access to the vault for the main objective of the mission. And we want to open up this safe. That way we can blackmail the manager to opening up a special room. Wait, what are those documents? Take a picture and send it over. Damn. Blood diamonds, bribed customs officials. We if you have, have a blue key card, you can open up right this here. door and take out the guard in there, which will shut off all the cameras. But this is this normal mode, out. so it's not I'm exactly sure necessary to do. 
I usually open up this door and take out the guard that is pacing on the far wall. That way, that guard never interrupts us. Also, there's a pedestrian here. We just want him to shut the hell up. The reason why I'm taking out this guard is because the door that I opened up before coming out here is a very quick and efficient way of loading the loot into the van. Also, it just so happens that this guard had the blue key card. You okay over there? Do you know what's amazing to me? It doesn't matter what I say to you. I bet you're just playing with your phone, aren't you? I could go weird as shit and you wouldn't even notice. Nutcracker. On normal mode, generally, not a whole lot of people come into this alley. And so you can just leave the bodies wherever you feel. This is to force the person to push the button so that you can use the key card to open up this safe to get access to the main objective of this mission. Once she has done that, just... Make sure that she stay quiet again and tie her hands behind her back. Don't worry about lock picking this as the security system is off. Collect the item and we are well on our way to looting the place. Now, as I said in the start of the video, I am focusing on clearing out all the jewelry from the VIP back room area. I'm not going to go into the front area. It is way too hot and too troublesome. You're going to get plenty of loot from this back That's area. That's the door to the jeweler's workshop. You need to find somebody with access to get past that biometric scanner. Using the documents you found in the basement, I can make the manager leave the public spaces. So the manager is in the front area, but the documents that we pulled out of the safe downstairs is what gives us an opportunity to bring the manager back to the VIP area to us so that she can open up this back area. The room that has the piece of equipment in it that's going to scan all the jewelry and also make our payout bigger. Making sure the manager has actually closed the door behind her. As you could tell, I already had a bag and had to throw it down. Now that I have her as a human shield hostage, throw her against the sensor. She opens the door. Now we want to make sure that she stays quiet. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I almost took out that camera with a gun that was not silenced. And that would have been bad because that would have alerted everyone in the jewelry store in the front area. And the mission would have gone from being a stealth to a loud mission. And that would have made things a lot more complicated. So this is the device that's going to help us get more money out of this mission. We load it up with the loot bags. We can load it up with as many loot bags as we have, but it's going to take time to process each loot bag. So now that we have all five of the loot bags into this machine, we can now go and collect all the loose jewelry from the display boxes. Moolah. As you can see, the machine has scanned one bag of loot, so we collect that one bag of loot and we can fire it into the back of the van while it's still processing the other four bags. I'm heading back in to continue to collect all the loose jewelry. Oh, nice.
As long as you have the back room area completely under control and no patrolling guards on this level in the VIP area, everyone's pretty much just gonna leave you alone. Not a bad haul. Leave now if you want, but you can always try for more. So that is four out of five bags scanned and total of five out of six bags collected. And again, this is on normal mode, stealth. We're gonna get into the hard mode stealth after this heist is complete. I'll take this moment to just thank you for watching this far into the video. And also, if you like it, let me know in the comments below or even clicking the thumbs up button and if you want me to do a normal and a hard mode on a different heist in this game, let me know which one you want me to focus on for you. I'm happy to help. That's six bags. $169,900 plus in experience, and this whole situation took us 11 minutes. Not too bad. Next is hard mode. Same weapon loadout, same perk setup, same skills. I will be here to help point out differences between normal mode and hard mode. Ashton Fine Jewelry Store. Get in there. Mask on or off? That's your call. Excuse me. I'm thinking of getting another credit. It's showtime. So, first things first, a guard is right here. Keep an eye out for cameras on. Usually we have to wait for a guard to show up. There's an extra guard already in this area. So take him out immediately and make sure you answer Hello? the radio. Yes, I was wondering about the bonus situation around here. Do you get something extra if you catch someone trying Check to break in? Area. And do you have the to prove they were trying to break in to get the bonus? Okay, right. Uh, I think that sounds good. And there's our random civilian that we have to make sure we keep quiet. Computer's unlocked. The passcode is gonna be in the same one of three places and this time we got lucky as the passcode is in the same place as before, the whiteboard. There's the guard from the normal difficulty. Just like in normal difficulty, that blue key card is gonna give us access to the security room, which if we take out the guard in that room, it'll shut off all the cameras. It is an option that you can use, but you don't always have to. You can still wipe out all the cameras in your way. Something? 
What's going on over there? Oh man, this is so embarrassing. I dropped my cup of coffee, and when I went to clean Same up, as before, we're going to want to turn off the power, grab that red key card, and open the safe for the documents so that we can blackmail the manager, which will give us access to the room, to the machine, <laughs> which gives us more money because it scans and cleans all the jewelry. Hold on. I'd like to take a close look at those documents. Send me a picture. Damn. Blood diamonds, bribed customs officials. We have all their dirty secrets right here. Okay, so there is still the civilian and the guard that is outside this area. And I recommend that you open this door, take out the guard, and deal with the civilian because it's gonna make loading the jewels into the back of the van that much quicker and easier for you. What's the status, over? Yeah, hi there, dispatch. Everything's cool over here. Just a little jumpy, I guess. I've had like 18 cups of coffee already. <laughs> Wanna stay sharp, if you know what I mean. Getting quite a group in here, I'll admit it. It's a little weird. Now, we can open up the safe to get the jewel, which is the primary objective of this mission. Well, would you believe that? It worked. Let's see what's inside oh, that no. vault. Ah! Fuck, that thing must be worth a small fortune. I haven't dealt with the civilian yet, but I'm about to when I drop off the first bag of loot. It's very rare for anyone to come back here, so if you just tie up that civilian in the alleyway, no one's gonna bother you or him. Okay, so a couple of quick changes in this room. One, the camera's in a different position, and two, there is another random oh, civilian in this shield. room. Just hold him as a body shield and lock him in this office. It's really starting to get crowded in here. We always want to stay clear of the door as the manager is coming into the back VIP office. That way, no one in the front sees you. Don't touch my purse! Access granted. Hey, what are you doing? Now, granted, yes, it is a little crowded in this office, but I figured, eh, what's one more, right? We're going to get a trio, two trios <laughs> in this office here. Now you notice the doors were open there and it gave me a bit of a start when I saw that, but honestly, of all the times I've played through this mission, no one has ever come through those doors. Two. 
Waiting for this machine is honestly the most time consuming part of the entire heist. But if you let all the jewelry go through that machine, you do end up with a bigger payout. One more bag to go. I think I've pretty much cleared up this entire area. Just gotta wait for that to process. Hey, you guys, do you wanna do a sing along? You know, row, row, row your boat? You start. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Row, merrily, row, merrily, row merrily, row merrily, boat, merrily life is but stream. a dream. Row, 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 row merrily, your boat gently down the stream. stream. Merrily, merrily, row, merrily, row merrily, boat, merrily, life is but a dream. dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Well, <laughs> that, that worked better than I expected. All right, last bag of loot has been scanned and cleaned, and we are ready to wrap this whole thing up. <laughs> I apologize in advance. I, I had to try that out. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <laughs> I had to do it one more time. All right, let's wrap up this mission. We came out with $200,000 in cash. It took us 10 minutes and change, and we got 900 plus experience points. This was Dirty Ice on hard mode in Payday 3. If you like this and you want me to do more, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again.